Hi, Lisa Dodson here from Serve Master. Just want to show you guys a really quick drill where you can learn how to hit underspin at home. You don't need a court. I'm in New York. It's hard to get court time inside. And when I can, it's usually too noisy. Um, this is a really easy one. I just have a hard floor, surface floor. There's indoor tennis courts in the background. I used a, something to create a net. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to hit a drop shot. A good drop shot is just your extreme spin on your underspin shots. So we're going to go through that. And this is something you can practice at home. You can have one of your kids over on the other side, just hit a ball, they toss it back. You're going to drop and hit, and you're going to be able to see the spin because I'm using a red ball, and you're going to be able to see how, how the ball is spinning. So you're going to see here that I have a very open racket face. I'm not taking the racket back, and that racket face opening happens from your grip. You go over more towards a continental grip. Um, that's a very important factor. Um, you're also going to notice that I'm not chopping, and I never call this backspin of the ball off of the ground um, slice. I always call it underspin because that's what it's doing. It's a backspin, it's spinning under, it's the reverse of topspin. Slice, I reserve for a slice serve because that's a completely different spin of the ball. Also, I think slice um, sort of puts in your brain that you're gonna chop, right? Slice and dice. And that's not what we're doing at all. We're really placing this ball and you're gonna see that with my racket. So if I wanna go cross court on a really easy, um, soft ball that I'm just trying to hit. You can see that social distancing circle over there. I'm trying to hit from where I am to there. It's about 10 to 12 feet. I'm going to hit very, very softly. It's going to look like I'm just keeping the ball right on my racket. So hopefully you can see this. Continental grip-ish, not quite all the way over, but almost there. My racket face is facing that direction, and here we go. doing what's called dead ball. It's uh, a ball that's you're feeding yourself, so it doesn't have any pace coming towards you. So it should really give you that feel of kind of grabbing onto the ball and making it spin, okay? This is a really fun thing to do. You can just do it at home. Go in your garage or someplace where you don't have a carpet, wood floor, it's not going to hurt anything, and drop the ball so you can just make it go eight or ten feet with some arc. It has to go up, and that way you're going to just start learning what this underspin feels like. Hope that helps.